Hi there crew and welcome to this July 23rd update for the Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii. Uh, we have a new alert level that was raised just a few hours ago for Kilauea from yellow or advisory status to orange or watch status. So I wanted to walk you through some of the data that's been coming in and the reason for the change in that alert level. Uh, again, today's July 23rd. It's approximately 9.45 here Mountain Daylight Time. That would make it 5.45 a.m over in Hawaii. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So early this morning, about two hours ago, they, they changed the alert level from from advisory status to alert to watch status, excuse me, uh, or yellow to orange, uh, in response to increased seismic activity and ground deformation um, that seems to indicate magma movement in the upper east rift zone. So the area of interest we'll be looking at today is just along the southeast side of the Kilauea summit area, this region up here known as the upper east rift zone. So that's the area we'll be focusing on. Um, and let's go ahead and get right to the update and walk you through that and then we'll look at some of the the graphics and such as well. Uh, so here's the the latest update where they changed the alert level to orange or watch level. Uh, this was at um, about uh, let's say what time 406 Hawaii time a.m. so a couple hours ago. So Kilauea is not erupting, so there's not an eruption happening as of right now. Increased earth earthquake activity and ground deformation in the Upper East Rift Zone began at about 3.30 a.m. on July 23rd, um, so that's early this morning, indicating the likely movement of magma in the subsurface. Accordingly, they have raised the alert level. Uh, the activity is centered near Pauahi Crater. Um, Situation is rapidly evolving. At this time, it's not possible to say with certainty if this will lead to an eruption. The activity may relay may remain below ground, and so they're just um, watching and monitoring this. As we've seen in the past, this sometimes can end with a eruption, uh, small or possibly larger, or it can end with just an intrusion. We've seen that over the past few months at Kilauea. Here's just a little reference map that might help a little bit as well. Here's the Kilauea. Caldera region up here at the top left of the, the map here. This is the chain of craters road. So this is the road that takes you down to the coastline. And the area where the earthquake activity is occurring stretches from about here at Mauna Ulu all the way up to Keanakakoe crater near the near the southwest uh, summit region or the rim of the caldera over here. So this is the region uh, of interest and more of the earthquakes are kind of centered in this region here near the Pauahi crater and the Hiika crater. Um, so let's look at those earthquakes in detail with the USGS site. And here you can see, here's Mount Ulu right here. Here's the Pauahi crater here. Uh, and there's Kanakakoe crater and the big Kilauea caldera up here. So this is just for the past 24 hours. You can see the sheer numbers of earthquakes that have come in. Um, I think they had up to upwards of 200 earthquakes or so in the past 24 hours. Um, most of these are small below magnitude 2, uh, but there are a few threes in here. There's one there. Um, there's a 3.2. And I think the biggest one in here, I probably won't be able to find it, but there was a 3.5. And a few of these were felt by residents in the area as well. Uh, these quakes are mostly shallow. You can see the depth here of about a kilometer. So one to three kilometers below the surface is sort of the norm for these quakes. So again, all those earthquakes you're seeing on the map right now, that's the past 24 hours. That's a lot of earthquakes in a very small uh, region just over the past uh, 24 hours. You know, looking at the island as a whole, you can see just how uh, dramatic <clears throat> that earthquake swarm is. And if we change it to uh, the past week or so, um, you can see a few more earthquakes in here, adding those yellow earthquakes in, especially towards the summit region and then along this lower east rift zone. But again, most of these um, are from the last 24 hours, hence the change in the alert status. Let me show you the earthquakes. Here's just the past um, two hours. So there's been 38 earthquakes just in the past two hours um, shown here. Maybe zoom in a little bit more. So again, Mount Ulu here, chain of craters road kind of snaking through here. And then the this section of uh, volcanic vents and pit craters here. It's worthwhile to point out that this has been the site of several other eruptions in the past. You can see 
1974 eruption here, uh, the Mauna Ulu eruption here in the, in the early 70s, uh, but it's been a while since we've had a, a substantial eruption or an eruption really of any size in the Upper East Rift Zone. Uh, I guess the last one here was 1979, so it's been uh, a good 30, 40-ish years or so or more since we've seen uh, those earthquakes, or excuse me, since we've seen an eruption there. Let's look at, let me show you on Google Earth just kind of animating these. Let's take the let's take the labels off here, all the fun labels I had here, uh, and then let's just focus here and watch these earthquakes come in uh, over time. So here is the 16th of July, that was uh, last week, so this is the past week. Here we are on the 18th of July, not that many, but a few. Uh, and then you'll watch these really ramp up once we get to about the 20th. Here we are the 19th. Here's July 20th. Um, they're starting to pop a little bit more here. It's 21st, 22nd of July. Really coming in now strong, 23rd. And then finally um, up till today on the 24th. So it just kind of gives you a little little better indicator of just sort of the how quickly those earthquakes um, accelerated in terms of their numbers over the past day or two. Uh, another, there they are coming in again just really fast and furious. Uh, another way to look at this would be to look at the past week worth of earthquakes. So here's a graph showing the past week of earthquakes. So from July 17th, that's the, the, the bar here on the left side up to today, although today's just begun in Hawaii, it's only about five hours into the day technically, and each one of these blue bar graphs represents the total number of earthquakes per day. So you can see you know, anywhere from 100 to 200 earthquakes per day kind of vacillating and then um, jumps up a little higher on the 20th. On the 21st it jumps up to 300 earthquakes per day and then the 22nd uh, approaching 350 earthquakes per day. Um, this one here likely will be high again. This is today the 23rd and this is only uh, we're only five hours into the day and we're at nearly or over 100 earthquakes uh, just within a five hour period. So it's very likely this will uh, match or possibly exceed these other ones here. The red line just shows you the, the cumulative uh, energy from all the earthquakes. So the more earthquakes you have and the bigger they are, the more that jumps up. So you can see, you know, not much going on. Uh, then it steps up a little bit from the 20th to the 21st. And then a big jump here over the last, um, you know, 10 or 12 hours or so. And that's what really what's kind of prompted the alert level change. Here's the earthquakes shown by depth over that same time period. So you can see a lot of these shallow earthquakes. Uh, these deeper ones are the ones down uh, near Pahala to the southeast, southwest, excuse me. Um, and then you can see these earthquakes really coming in uh, with a lot more vigor and frequency over the past day or two, uh, culminating in just this last, you know, 12 or so hours of earthquake data where uh, we've got some big circles in there and there's a, a much more intense zone of earthquakes in that region. Um, uh, the deformation data is shows the same sort of thing. So you can see this is the, the tilt meter. Um, so when this blue line goes upward, that, that means that the tilt is increasing. These are very sensitive instruments. And so an increasing trend is related to inflation. So you can see over the past week, uh, pretty steady inflation. There's a few little ticks here. I'm not sure if those might be could be related maybe to, to some earthquakes that cause those little spikes, or I think sometimes when they get heavy rainfall, you can get a little glitch like that. So I'm not sure exactly, but nonetheless, the overall trend with the increase there is noteworthy because we've, we're seeing inflation in that region. Um, and the webcams are just kind of, you know, it's, it's just sunrise there. So there's not a whole lot to be seen on the webcams. I suppose if you wanted to kind of monitor this, and watch, I guess the best webcam to watch so f for now would be this one here from Mount Ulu looking to the northwest because that's essentially a, a webcam located here that's looking in this direction. So it's at least looking in the right direction and assuming that we get um, the clouds lifting, which is a big if, uh, you might be able to see, if there was to be an eruption, you might be able to see something on this camera. Um, not sure if these other cameras, yeah, this one's further down the rift zone at Puo'o, same thing with that one. 
This one on Mount Ulu, I think, looks to the northeast, so it's kind of looking in the wrong direction. Uh, and I'm not sure where this camera is, but we could probably figure that out. So anyway, but you can scroll through their webcams. Um, the summit webcams probably aren't that helpful, but you know, again, sun's just rising there. There's the Kilauea caldera. Looks like a little bit of rain on the can on the lens there. Little little better view there of just sort of the outgassing and uh, steam coming out of the these hot rocks in the Kilauea caldera. So and there's a nice panoramic view of the of the whole thing there. So. Uh, so we'll have to see how this goes moving forward. Um, obviously, we've been down this road before where we have seen earthquake activity increase like this. We've seen ground deformation increase over a short time frame. And we've seen that culminate at in some instances with an actual eruption like we saw in the southwest rift zone a few months ago. And other times we've seen that uh, culminate or manifest itself as an intrusion of magma, the formation of a dike, which could later lead to an eruption. So right now, uh, just monitoring and kind of keeping eye on the situation is the best way to move forward. Um, one thing you can do if you're really interested in this sort of thing is you can subscribe to their volcano notification service. And then anytime there's a update or and alert level change, like what happened today, um, you can get that notified to you by email. So hopefully that's a helpful service to you. And that's how I found out a lot of times about what's going on there um, as I, I subscribe to that notification service. So for now, we'll let the USGS do their job and continue monitoring the situation. We'll see if anything transpires, but I just wanted to give you this quick update on the situation in Kilauea and hope you're well. And thanks for watching. Appreciate your support. Take care.